Hey guys, I am Ian K and boy do I have an amazing clan boss team to showcase in this video. So I heard you love watching my Tervolt smack the clan boss. How about watching two of this uh, barbarian beefcakes double teaming the clan boss? That's right, the clan boss team I'm showcasing today will feature double Tervolt in an unkillable team. This, this team's speed tune was discovered by a buddy of mine, Frugus, who I share and bounce idea with, and he was able to come up with this amazing team. I personally do not have two Tervolts, but the Dark, whose account I'm on right now, reached out to me and asked if I could build him an interesting clan boss team. He mentioned that he has a dupe Tervolt, and what's a more interesting clan boss team than a double Tervolt team? So I hopped onto his account and built this team from scratch. So this clan boss team features two Tervolts, two Man Eater, and a flex spot on where Martyr is. So this, the ideal champion for this slot is someone who can place a defense down reliably and consistently. In this team, we are using Martyr, since Martyr is probably one of the best uh, champions to use in this slot. She provides a consistent and high chance to place defense down on her A1, as well as counter-attack for the entire team. Another, champ another good champion that can fit this role is Farrakhan the Fat. So he also has an A1 uh, decreased defense on a much lower chance, and he provides the ally attack as well as some debuffs. Poison and HP burn. But the problem with Farrakhan is that since he has two other abilities that doesn't place defense down, he's not as reliable in placing defense down as a martyr. So if you do have him and would want to use him, I suggest, uh, highly suggest using the retaliation gear for him to counter attack and place his uh, defense down on his A1. Alright, um, I can go over the champion's gear one by one. So the first Tervolt, so this Tervolt is geared for pure DPS, so he does not have accuracy. I geared him with as much attack as I can, uh, with as high crit damage as I can. So he only needs 70% crit rate, so this is a little more crit rate than he needs. And he has uh, 145 speed right now. The second Tervolt, uh, I've also geared him for a little bit damage, but he needs to have the accuracy to place the weaken. So this Tervolt has slightly less attack, uh, still a high crit damage number, uh, and he's at 152 speeds and 268 accuracy. So I will have the speed tune uh, of this entire team in my pinned comments below, and you can take a look at that if you want to build this uh, amazing double Tervolt clan boss team. So the next two champion will be the man eaters. So both man eaters are in toxic gear, and they have uh, a relatively high attack, a high crit rate and crit damage, and a two, one of them has 214 speed. The other has a, about the same stats uh, with 218 speed. So both of them are in the offense tree into Warmaster and the support tree, Sniper and Master Hexer. So Sniper increases the chance to place poison and it, uh, this mastery affects um, artifact sets, as well as Master Hexer to increase the duration of the poison. So we don't have man eaters in the counter attack mastery because we already have a counter attack from uh, Martyr. So both these man eaters have the exact same mastery. And Tervolt from before, they also have the same mastery. It's a standard uh, War Master uh, with lifesteal and counter attack. Lastly, we have Martyr. So Martyr is geared in a regular set. Um, he just she just needs to have the desired amount of stats to deal damage as well as the speed. So she has 171 speed with about 5.4k defense, 100% uh, crit rate, and 240 crit damage with accuracy to place her decrease in de defense. Similarly, in Mastery, uh, we don't need counter attack Mastery since she already places. Uh, counter attack on her own and the mastery I opt on her is uh, increasing the duration of the defense down debuff as well as increasing the uh, 
chance to have an increased duration on her counter attacks. Alright, I'll just go over the pieces of each champion one by one so you can just take a look at the stats. Alright, so I will start the run now. So this team has a manual setup for the first six turns. I will have a guide on the ability order for this specific team, again in the pinned comments below. So if you have two Tervolts and would like to build, build this team, uh, this team also works on Nightmare uh, with a much uh, easier manual setup which will also be included in this uh, pin comment below. So, alright, I'll start the manual setup right now. So, firstly, uh, A2s on the man eaters. So, I'll just go over this quickly and you can read the instructions on the comments below. Alright, so that is the manual setup. The run can go on full auto from now on. So I'll let the run uh, go for a bit. And then I'll... Yeah, I'll just speed up the run and I'll see you guys once the run is over.
there you have it. The double Tervolt Ultra Nightmare Unkillable team doing 85 million on Spirit Affinity. Easily when keying. This team works on all affinities since they are 4 Void Champions and only uh, 1 Flex Spot Champion. So obviously this team will do less damage on the affinity where your Flex Champion is weak against. And in this case, uh, this team will do a little worse on Magic Affinity. I've tested it on Magic and I was still able to 1-key it, al although it's a pretty close 1-key. I did about 71 million. So if you don't have like really good gear, it's likely you won't reach the 1-key on the bad affinity. But on other affinities, it should still be able to hit 1-key. Alright, so that's the team. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Um, I'll try my best to answer them. And yeah, thank you. Goodbye.